How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play the melody to come together by the Beatles on guitar. Now I posted a lesson already up in the Abbey Road series on how to play the exact rhythm guitar part for this song. But in a lot of my videos that I start off here on YouTube, a lot of you all comment, John, why don't you teach these lead parts or these solo things that I do at the beginning of the video? And what I'm usually doing is just playing off of the melody of the song. So today I'm going to break down and approach on how I do this and we're gonna use this song come together I'm gonna to show you the melody and really show you how we can use just four notes to play about 90% of this song's melody but before we get into it I really appreciate you checking out the links below if you're interested in learning how to play melodically like this I've got a free book all about soloing that you can download at the link below and with that book you're also gonna get some free blues training videos with tabs as well that are not on YouTube. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down how to play the melody to come together by the Beatles on guitar. We're gonna start with the verse section. There's really two sections. Here's what the verse sounds like. I'll play it for you, and then I'll break it down. So we're going to start with the 10th fret of the 3rd string. And then we'll go to the 12th fret on the 4th string and play 12, 10, 12. So here come old flat top, he come. Now I typically will bend this 10th fret on the 3rd string, that first note just to get it kind of a bluesy sound. And that's basically the notes there for the majority of the verse. So I'm thinking about just lining that up with the vocal line. Here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. Got. Then we're going to drop down to the ninth fret, and that's when the band goes down to A. So this would be the ninth fret on the third string. Da, 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 da. And we're going to alternate between 9 on the 3rd string and 12 on the 4th string. Okay? Feet, da feet down below his knees. So that's 9, 9, 12, 9, 12, 9. Then we move back up to the 10th fret. And so that's just 10, 10, 10, 12 on the... 4th string, 10, 10, 10, 12, 10, 10, 10, 10, 12. So, got to be looking cause he's so hard to, and then 10, 12 real quick, you know. So this is a basic idea of the melody, right? And you may phrase it just slightly different, but listen to the recording and like I said, try and line it up. So, so far all together, we've got two, three, four. Back up. And we're back to the intro. So again, all of those notes right there are basically out of this D minor scale. But what's really cool is we used one, two, three, four, 
four notes to play like 90% of this song, right? Melody wise, it's just four notes. So it just goes to show you how much you can make with just a couple notes. Now, I personally will embellish this and because I've played it so many times, I will uh, do different things like add double stops. <laughs> you know, or change the rhythm and, and play more like the, the piano part. You know, so there I'm, I'm, I'm playing 10 and 10, I'm making it a double stop. So instead of, here come old flat, it's like, and then just really that's kind of like a blues rock thing that we hear all the time. Then I'll slide. So if I spice it up a little bit and play that with the with the chords, it sounds like this. The only other section is the little refrain that goes like this. So what I'm playing here is the D root note on the 12th fret of the 4th string. Come together. And that's really outlining a D major chord. So 12, 12, then 10 on the second string, 11 on the third string. Now, sometimes I'll do that little double stop there a la Jimi Hendrix. Jimi would do this thing. He would do that lick all the time. And so I'll just harmonize that melody again with a double stop. So the simple way, come together, Jimmy style. And then, so that's right now, walking down a D major pentatonic scale, but with the double stop. And then you got the over me. And that's just sliding into the ninth fret on the fourth string, and then the 12th fret on the same string. Have fun practicing the melody to come together on guitar. Remember to play it along with the recording and try and copy the vocal phrasing. That's what you're really trying to do when you play the melody is you're trying to sound like the singer. So you want to really listen to it and play it along with the recording and that'll just help you get the feel and again, the phrasing. If you wanna learn more about this kind of playing, be sure to download my free book, Melodic Expressions, in the link below. And with that book, you're gonna get a free blues training series as well that has some tabs and it's gonna teach you some essential blues guitar concepts. So check that out as my gift to you for watching this video. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time.